Hey folks, Kevin here. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on the greenhouse and chicken coop. Uh, I know it's been quite some time uh, since my last video update. Actually, I did a recording about one month ago, and unfortunately, I lost that video along with two other videos that I'd made that day. Um, and at that time, the video showed the, uh, the ICF's insulated concrete forms having been set up uh, where, the, where the greenhouse is and all. And so I thought we'd take a little walk over there and have a look at it. Uh, this greenhouse is a little different than most typical greenhouses. It is a, an aluminum frame glass enclosure. You can see the video that I posted in the past on YouTube. Uh, showing the greenhouse that I was taking down from uh, a local school. The greenhouse is divided into two sections. It's almost 70 feet, about 69 feet by 32 feet. I've decided to attach it to a chicken coop and uh, make it a, a, a more energy efficient system. So you turn around here, we'll see where, where we're at at this point. So here is the, the chicken coop. I've got a little uh, Premier One fence around it to try and keep the chickens from getting at the coop since they will peck at that uh, styrofoam. Uh, these are eight inch concrete walls with two and a half inches of uh, styrofoam on either side. Uh, this is a build block system and uh, that's the manufacturers of the insulated concrete forms, ICFs. And uh, here's what the I hope this shows up fairly well. This is the most southern uh, section of the, of the greenhouse. This is uh, 39 foot long uh, and uh, 32 foot wide and it's and it's divided into three sections and all of these these lower walls that we can see down in here uh, these are four foot walls. This will be uh, covered with a concrete floor on this side and on this side over here, those pallets, those were the forms I used to pour the concrete partition walls down in here. And you can see those pallets are on a uh, uh, three and a half inch uh, blue dowel board insulation. So it's uh, got vapor barriers uh, sealed off and it's insulated side walls below as well. This center area, which is just over four foot wide, will house all the 275 gallon water totes. There'll be 18 of them going into this section, going into the building. And I'm going to walk down this partition here for a moment. And, uh, <clears throat> and there's penetrations in the wall for airflow in between large thermal mass uh, stone beds. So to my left here, and on the other side of this water tote is where that scaffolding is. That'll be four, foot feet, four feet deep uh, 12 foot wide uh, and 39 foot sections, two of them of washed stone that will be the thermal mass that's going to have a, a heat retention and cooling retention that will radiate up through the floor because the floor level will be right over there that's in that doorway that we just came through and where I'm standing as well is the floor level. So all of this area is that we're seeing down here is all going to be underground and we're just going to have the two foot knee wall that little section there just above those those two walls in that corner is all that's going to be above the concrete floor ultimately and there'll be a access uh, flooring panels that are going to go over these concrete walls I just have to figure out what I'm going to use for the access paneling and I'm standing on the central section and again this is very similar but this is only 28 foot deep and this is the uh, warmer, the more tropical zone uh, for all our avocados, mangoes, uh, and citrus fruit trees that'll be in this section. Then we get over here, and these are just four foot uh, walls, and this will all be filled with stone as well. And uh, this is, well, from over here, this is actually the storage room for the chicken coop, and over on this side, is the chicken coop and because we have pretty harsh winters uh, we have this little uh, section over here that is a uh, <clears throat> the actual chicken run an enclosed uh, enclosable uh, enclosure for the chickens to be during the winter months 
so you get a little bit of an idea so let me just come over here I'll actually get up on top of a, a dirt pile over here in just one second oh, see how this works okay so this area right here going right across here is going to be a an enclosed chicken run and then half of the remaining area over there will be the uh, the chicken coop and the other part will be the storage area. In the storage area there will be solar dehydrator uh, enclosed in there and food storage and uh, sprouting center for fodder for the chickens and geese. And again the smaller section of the greenhouse that we're looking at right here will be the more tropical fruit bearing trees uh, in our temperate zone here in the northeast and then the area that you can't see behind that tree is the uh, more southern which will be the cooler area that will be growing all of our greens during the uh, winter months so that's it I've got the uh, forms the uh, supportive structures all pulled off finally and we're getting ready to start filling in these voids but I wanted to uh, capture this on video before uh, I go any further and I start uh, you know putting in the concrete floors and putting in the thermal mass units as well so you can at least see, at least see what's below grade in the house all of this stuff is is concealed you can't see it at all uh, so it's kind of nice to be able to show this so people got an idea later on geez how did he do this so that's it for right now uh, I hope you all have a great day and if you have any comments, please click the link below and, and, and make a, a comment for us. Thanks so much. Take care now. Bye-bye.